Okay, so I've learned that being a resident of Oklahoma and beard care, they, they don't go together. So you really find very few people around my state that actually take care of their beard, right? So when I found Stroke Beard Co. out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, I was super, super excited because that's not something that you find very often in this state. I've only heard of a couple myself and that even goes for community members in the beard community. You don't find very many of those guys. I have found a few, but not very many. So myself and Aaron and Alex from Stroke Beard Co., we want to kind of smash through the stereotypes, the hipsters, the millennials, you know, just, just people saying things like that. We want to kind of normalize beard care in Oklahoma and obviously around the nation also, but we kind of feel like it's more accepted in other places, even in Texas. Usually Texas don't accept anything, right? I mean, they do things their own way, but there's more beard companies in Texas gathered up in, in just, you know, in small places even that I've heard of in any other state throughout the whole U.S. and Canada for that matter. So guys, you know, we want your help. Join with us and let's kind of smash through some of them stereotypes and normalize beard care in Oklahoma. Alright guys, thank you for staying tuned through the intro. Welcome back to Socially Bearded. My name is Mick and you know most of you know what we do here. We kind of cover you know pretty much anything men's grooming. Skin care, beard care, shaving, tips and tricks for all the above. Uh, you know and, and even some other things. So if that's something you think you might be into, go ahead do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Drop me a like if you like the video and even leave me a comment. Let's talk about it. So, like I mentioned before, today we're going to be talking about Stroke Beard Co. Now, about 90% of you watching this video, you're going to have absolutely no idea who this is. Maybe apart from watching my unboxing, uh, maybe seeing some pictures that I threw up on Instagram from the meetup. I did say meetup. I actually drove up. I met these guys. Uh, you know, we talked about the review. We even planned a live stream for this Sunday. Now, I know my live streams are normally on Saturday, uh, but I actually have a wedding that I have to film on that day. Plus, both these guys have to work. Uh, so, you know, first thing in the morning, they go to the farmer's market on Saturday, and then they both go directly to work, you know, after that. So, real quick, let's kind of talk about the company and we will get into it. Oh, and before we do that, I might have to break this video into two parts. So if I do have to do that, we will do everything about the company and the carriers and all that on one video. And then the second video will cover just the scent. Okay, so Stroke Beard Co. Believe it or not, they just launched April 1st of 2021. Uh, they had eight months to a year of kind of R&D development uh, testing stuff like that beforehand but their website officially launched on April Fool's Day April 1st and that's no joke <laughs> so how did Stroke Beard Co come to be uh, so there's a little bit of a backstory here now I'm not gonna go into the full thing or we would be here you know 15 20 minutes just on this part but I'll give you a brief overview so uh, Stroke Beard Co is owned by Alex and Aaron Hendricks they are from Broken Arrow Oklahoma they're brothers um, Aaron is about 10 years older than Alex. Uh, they have always wanted to kind of go into business together, but like brothers do, they never dis they, ne they never agreed on exactly what they wanted to do uh, until this. So where this really kind of kind of materialized from thought to you know an actual thing was Al was working as a salesman. Uh, really his first sales job ever he was making more money than he had ever made anywhere in his life but he was stressed out every single day you know it was it, he, he woke up dreading work he would get off work every day dreading the next day and I know from experience that is absolutely no way to live well when COVID hit his little boy got sent home from school nothing he can do about that right that's the school's call uh, they were playing it safe totally understandable well his work did not understand that they did not want to work with him at all so he left the highest paying job that he's ever had best benefits least amount of work he left all that behind 
he went back to being a contractor, which is kind of what he's always done, you know, a carpenter slash contractor. Contractors, a lot of times they do a little of everything, plumbing, electrical, roofing, you know, uh, the whole nine yards there. Uh, so he went back to doing that to earn a steady paycheck. And all the while, him and Aaron were thinking, you know, man, let's, let's do something with the beer community. So Aaron had actually been involved in the beer community, buying other companies' products, uh, this, that, and the whole nine yards. You kind of know how that works. He was really enjoying the live streams, really enjoying all the different scents that you get from all the different companies. Um, they kicked around a few different ideas. One was building custom subscription boxes for some of these companies that offer subscriptions each month. They kind of threw that away. You know, they thought, you know, yeah, we could maybe make a few sales, but that's probably not something that everybody is interested in. But what if we just started our own thing? And I, for one, am very glad that they have. I, I love to find a company in my home state, and that's exactly what I found here. So being as that they've both always had a beard, you know, they said, okay, so we'll go into beard care. What are we gonna call it? They said, they, they told me personally, now they told me this face to face, that they picked 100 to 150 names. You know, one would kick out an idea and the other one would say no this that and that just went back and forth for days and even weeks and they were visiting their parents one day they were sitting on the front porch and the funniest thing Al grabbed his beard and he stroked it right he, he run his hand through it you know just kind of setting the flyaways back into place we all do it uh, you know if you've got a good oil in and your beard's nice and soft you want to touch it right as soon as he did that Aaron looked at him and he said there it is and Al said what he said stroke beard coat and they agreed on it, and so here you go. I, I was, you know, I, I couldn't, I couldn't wait to ask them where did stroke come from. You know, uh, power stroke, two stroke. I mean, what, what's the, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out. And I was wondering if it's, I wonder if it's like stroke, like stroke your beard. Well, that's what it is. <laughs> I thought it was actually pretty catchy myself. Uh, it's very different, you know. And we have so many beard companies out there that, in my opinion, we want something very different. Now. Uh, that's enough about the company. Let's move right into the ingredients. All right, so the ingredients for the oil, now this is gonna be a 50-50 blend. So the first half of the oil is emu oil. Then you have hemp seed, clear jojoba, argan, sweet almond, vitamin E, and they do use essential and fragrance oils to make up their scents. Now for the butter. So the, so the ingredients for the butter are, you know, a lot of times it's shea butter and the carrier blend. Well, they actually took that kind of a step further. So the ingredients for your butter is gonna be shea butter, mango butter, babassu oil, which is not in their carrier blend, then the carrier blend, and then there is a small amount of beeswax in there, and then again, your essential and or your fragrance or both blend that make up the scent. Now. We all know and love emu oil. We all know and love hemp seed oil, most of us anyway. Uh, so just right off the bat, what does that sound like to me? It, to me, you know, it, it intrigued me enough that I, I kind of wanted to buy one of everything. So I picked up four combos. They sent out uh, another combo plus two other scents. Uh, one was for me to test and kind of give them some feedback on it. And the other, was actually up on the website now, or two of them are on the website now. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later though. Uh, so for now, let's go ahead and that you're gonna be your ingredients. Let's go ahead and move on to the pricing. Okay, so we've got a little bit to kind of go through here on the pricing, so let's get right into it. Your one ounce oil and your two ounce butter are both gonna run you $17, which I think is a very, very fair price. You don't find a 50-50 emu blend all the time for under $20. Uh, so as far as the carrier blend on the oil and the butter, I think that price is absolutely stellar. Now you can also pick up a combo for 30 bucks. Now let's talk about those combos for a second. So there for a while when they first launched, they were running a deal where if you went up and you were the first, a first time customer and you signed up for their newsletter, you got 50% off your entire order. Well, this is a little bit my fault because I was telling people, I was like, look guys, this is a great deal. You know, give these guys a try. You know, for, for half off your order, what's to lose, really? You know, if you don't like it, somebody will. Um, 
that kind of started taking a toll. So they have actually dropped that down to half off of one combo if you're a first time customer and you sign up for the newsletter. So still, a combo for 15 bucks, guys, you cannot beat that with a stick, right? So now, here's something else to go with it. Code SB10 from now until Sunday at midnight after our live stream. So we'll, we'll talk more about it on our live stream Sunday. But until midnight Sunday, SB10 will save you 30%. Uh, and then after that, that code will be a permanent code and it will be worth 10% from now on. And then along with that, they also have a free shipping point that's automatic at $50. Uh, you know, most companies, they're up there around the $75 to $100 mark. So I think uh, spending $50 to get free shipping, to me, that's a no-brainer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that almost every time if I can afford it, of course. Uh, but So that's, that's kind of your prices, guys. That's your price, your discount code, um, all that. Uh, so now let's move on to consistency and fill in beard. So... Let's do the, let's go with the oil first this time. So your oil, it is in a restrictor, which I like. Uh, you know, that's the, that's the hygienic way. So you've got a really, really cloudy oil. It's kind of hard to see on my skin there. Uh, and this, this oil is going to be a, just a straight up medium. You know, emu oil can be very, very thick. So. Uh, with that being said, you know, it's it's anytime you put a 50-50 blend in, an, uh, in a beard oil, I mean, it's really probably going to make it a medium. And, and that's exactly what this is. Um, you know, they've got a, a little bit thinner oils, you know, mixed in there with it. Uh, so it's not a medium heavy. It's it's just, for me, it's just a, it's just a straight medium. Uh, the absorption rate was actually very, very good. But I, I tend to get that with 50-50 uh, blends. Uh, sometimes when it's over 50, you know, if it's up there 75, something like that, I don't get the good ex absorption rate like I do with other uh, emu and ostrich blends that are 50-50. Uh, but as far as the absorption rate with this, you know, just a, just a few minutes, uh, you know, five to eight minutes, and you ain't feeling nothing greasy, you know, anything like that. Uh, the fill-in beard is absolutely top-notch. Now, I'm probably going to get accused of kind of upping my reactions to this because it's an Oklahoma company, but guys, I am telling you, the fill-in beard is 100% on point. Now, let's move on to the butter. So, like I mentioned, this is a wax butter, and it does contain mango butter, right? So, mango butter can be heavy. Uh, it can also be heavy in the beard. It can kind of, I don't, I wouldn't want to say weigh it down, but it's kind of like when you're combing through it, it's a little tacky sometimes. It, it, it can be, you know, not always, but you know, that is one kind of unintended effect that can happen. Now, I did get a little bit of this uh, with, with this butter, but with that being said, I kind of reached out to them. I gave them some pointers with the, with the mango butter there. Uh, it's a really super creamy butter though, really super creamy. I uh, gave them some pointers and they have actually are going to constitute those changes so kind of see it there it's got that little bit of wax in it so it's not melting down immediately but you can do that and it is gone uh, it's blended really well no grit maybe you know maybe if you get it in the summertime and it melts and, and re-solidifies there there could be i guess a little bit of grit in there uh, but my order all five butters that i have i did not get any grit you know really out of any of them so uh, if you're somebody that's bothered by gritty butter don't worry about this now there is a little beeswax in it so you know it is a little bit thicker i've got it i've got it kind of thick on my hand so I, I don't have to use very much at all as a matter of fact what you just watched me melt down is probably you know two uses for myself personally uh, but you know if you're a, a frequent flyer of this channel you know that i don't have to use a lot of butter to achieve what I want with my beard. Uh, but as far as the feel, really, really nice. Uh, even though it's got the beeswax in it, the absorption rate was still pretty quick. I'd say 15 to 20 minutes. And, you know, didn't leave me greasy, didn't leave me yucky. Now, of course, that probably all would have changed had I have used way too much. But 
I've dealt with a few wax butters here very recently actually and so I knew to kind of start out light and just keep adding until it was enough uh, so as far as the filling beard for the butter guys excellent protection excellent softness and a very quick absorption rate so they definitely have my recommendation based off filling beard for the oil and the butter all right guys so really that is kind of that's kind of everything as far as you know like ingredients and cost and you know kind of the stuff you guys want to know uh, before we get to the scent so what i'm going to do is i'm going to roll the outro we're going to kill it right here and then we will pick right back up with the second video now for any of you that are wondering both of these videos they're going to drop simultaneously i'm not going to hold one back uh, so i'll title this one you know maybe the review and then the second one maybe the scent review uh, but they will drop you know at both times i'll also kind of do part one and part two that way maybe you can watch this one first see the intro all that stuff company history whatnot uh, so we'll kill it right here guys and i will be right back with you in just a second Hey everyone, thank you for watching. If you're new here and you want to support the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and remember to follow me across all social medias.